stress and infertility is a topic that actually nobody wants to hear about. Why? Because when you're having fertility issues, you're generally pretty stressed out about it. The vicious cycle that's created is that we keep being stressed out by our fertility journey and the stress keeps impacting our fertility. So how do you get a handle on it? Well, I think that's when a lot of doctors are actually referring out for acupuncture. And acupuncture for many people can be extremely effective at reducing their stress response and helping you to better cope with the emotional burden of the journey. Talk therapy, cognitive therapy, these are also options. What's lesser known is some of the things that you're consuming on a daily basis could actually be affecting your stress levels. Coffee, for example, is something that most people don't want to get rid of and they can't really understand how that something like one cup of coffee a day could really be impacting their fertility. For some people it doesn't, but for others it actually is a big issue and those are usually the women that have a higher level of anxiety. Another thing to consider about coffee is that it's actually quite difficult to filter through your liver. If your liver has the task of filtering your hormones and you're clogging it up with coffee and fried foods and, and other things that aren't necessarily ideal, then we're hampering hormonal health. When tackling the stress aspect of the fertility journey, I'm usually recommending a few different things. One is dietary changes. Certain things that you'll be consuming will actually affect your neurochemistry, meaning it'll affect your happy endorphins like your serotonin and your GABA and your dopamine. If you're taking fertility drugs, that's also greatly going to be affecting your mood and your stress levels. So it's best to find something that will help you manage the side effects of these medications and reduce your stress levels. Acupuncture is awesome for this. Meditation also shouldn't be understated. Most type A personalities have a lot of trouble meditating, and that's because of what I call the monkey mind. So we're always jumping to the next task and you know, trying to plan out our day, and even when my patients are having acupuncture on the table, they're sort of like planning what they're gonna eat for dinner and all of the things that happen to happen in the day. And sometimes it serves us to just empty our minds. It's really amazing to me how many people I've met that are highly uncomfortable with their own thoughts. I think it maybe is one of the reasons why um, Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now was very successful and Oprah did like an eight part series on it. In that book, Eckhart Tolle says, you are not your mind. That was like a wow moment for me and probably transformed my life because it started to make me believe all of the thoughts passing through my mind a little less. I started to get in touch with the fact that our thoughts were affected by so many things, such as how much access to nature we've had, and how much stress we've been under, and how much sleep we've had, how much caffeine we've been drinking, whether we've had intoxicants like alcohol. Suffice to say that incorporating mindfulness techniques into your day-to-day -day is really helpful for having a balanced perspective on what is going on in your life. The fertility journey is hard. Nobody's denying that. There was a study that came out that said that women going through infertility treatment um, have stress levels tantamount to those who are going through cancer treatment. That's a fairly big deal. When our stress hormones are firing, we're actually suppressing the function of our reproductive organs. I have seen many a woman go through IVF cycles and have better cycles when they've been less stressed. So the same woman will go through a cycle and be stressed out of her mind, she'll barely produce any eggs. And then the next cycle, she'll be off work and practicing lots of mindful techniques and getting acupuncture, and suddenly she has an amazing cycle with lots more eggs produced and more viable embryos. So there's been actual evidence to show the impact of stress on IVF cycles.